Everyone loves dolphins. The way they glide through the water and jump through the air is truly magical. Dolphins are not only adorable, but they also have the unique ability to navigate and hunt in the darkness of the ocean depths where little light penetrates. How do they achieve this impressive feat? They do so using a sense called echolocation. This is a unique ability to see the world through sound, and it is an ability that dolphins share with porpoises, bats, and whales. Echolocation functions much like sonar on a submarine. So why would they need echolocation? If you have ever looked underwater in the ocean, you know the view is often murky and not very clear. This gets significantly worse the deeper under the sea you go, where there is little light. In such conditions, how does echolocation work exactly? It works by allowing dolphins to see by interpreting the echoes of sound waves that bounce off nearby objects. Dolphins emit ultrasonic clicks by pushing air between the nasal passages. When these passages open and close, the surrounding tissues vibrate and produce sound waves. An organ called the melon, located on the dolphin's head, concentrates and amplifies these sound pulses and sends them forward. These sound waves travel through the melon and into the water, bouncing off nearby objects. The clicks or sound waves then return to the dolphin as echoes. The echoes are picked up by the dolphin's lower jaw and forehead, which work like antennas to receive the signals. From there, the signals are channeled through the ears and back into the brain. The brain can then interpret them, allowing the dolphin to see by using sound. This process is so precise that dolphins are able to determine the shape, size, speed, and direction of the objects around them. It can even determine the internal structure of some objects. At this point, you may be wondering how humans look to dolphins underwater. As our bodies consist mainly of water, we provide a prime target for echolocation. If a dolphin were to use echolocation on us, they would be able to see muscle, bone, and scar tissue, and even artificial body parts. This would be enough information for them to tell one human from another. So who discovered echolocation? One of the first people to study dolphin echolocation in depth was scientist Jacques-Yves Cousteau. He wrote a book about the process called The Silent World, which was published in 1953. How echolocation came to be is believed to be a matter of evolution. It is probable that echolocation evolved in order to allow dolphins to survive in the sea's harsh environments. Dolphins require echolocation to navigate, hunt, and protect themselves from predators. How about sound frequency? Interestingly enough, dolphins produce low-frequency signals to communicate, but high-frequency signals when echolocating. Dolphins can produce sounds with a frequency of up to 130 kilohertz. This is really impressive, since even animals such as dogs and cats, which are known for their amazing hearing capabilities, cannot hear at such frequencies. However, this does make dolphins sensitive to the level of noise around them. Excessive noise, such as that given off by boat engines, can disorient them and even cause them to lose their hearing over time. So let's keep our seas nice and quiet for the sake of our animal friends.